Now, here is the French president like you've probably never seen him before. Take a look. These photos of Emmanuel Macron have been met with a mixture of praise and ridicule. The moody black and white shots were posted on Instagram by the president's official photographer. Some comments on social media suggest that they showed the French president getting ready to take on Russian President Vladimir Putin. I'm joined now by Philippe Marek. He is a professor emeritus in political communications at the Fontainebleau Institute of Political Studies in Paris. Professor, it's good to have you with us. We know that a, a politician, when they post something on social media, there's always a message there. Is this President Macron showing off his fitness or is there more to it? Well, it seems there is a pattern of uh, uh, Emmanuel Macron wanting to address directly uh, Putin and uh, wanting to show that he wants to be the leader of, I would say, free Europe, uh, if we would want to use these terms. And as you can see, he also wants to compete with him and to show that he has muscles. Uh, by the way, uh, there is some criticism about the first picture because some people say it's not has been retouched. So it's not anymore online. What, 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 on the what, what's been retouched, Professor? Do we know? The muscles. It seems, I mean, they pretended that this is his real muscles, but uh, it seems hmm. it's been retouched. It's not anymore online on the official website of the photographer. Well, who is Macron addressing with these possibly, you know, touched up muscles? Well, you know, uh, there is a European election in a few months and uh, Emmanuel Macron has quite a, uh, a low down in popularity. So he's trying to achieve something somewhere. And it seems the only place where he can achieve somewhere is as leader of the free world, or at least the free Europe, because at the moment, uh, uh, school is not uh, going very well in France. The reform is not very strongly accepted. And so mm. uh, the economics is going down. So it's a way to improve his popularity, at least he thinks. Professor, what would you say distinguishes the images we've seen of Macron from the images of Vladimir Putin, those images that the world has seen, the Russian president, um, he has a history of presenting himself as a nature-loving, bare-chested athlete sitting on a horse in Siberia. Indeed, uh, but at the same time, you have to remember that uh, uh, with the personalization of political communication today, it's not a new thing in France. Uh, we have seen uh, Nicolas Sarkozy in a few a few years ago, uh, the bicycling and uh, running, with sweating, and so in fact, uh, uh, that's I would say a pattern of leaders who want to go on the populist side. I would say, and mm. uh, obviously, uh, uh, when you want to go against Putin, well, you try these things. In a world where we talk about the metrosexual, we talk about feminist foreign policy. The male macho biceps bulging leader, is that anachronistic? Is that political communication from the last century? Well, I would say it comes more from the pattern of modern political communication, but I would say at the same time that it looks a little odd when you have the Me Too movement being so strong, especially in France now, where uh, I would say uh, a good part of the uh, film business is now accused of uh, doing of being a Me Too uh, by the Me Too people. So mm -hmm. it's a little odd, I would say. And uh, who, do you think there is a pattern here, or, or can we predict what politician will will try to show their macho side? I mean, here in Germany, for example, many people could not imagine seeing similar photos from Chancellor Olaf Scholz, for example. I know, but you, you remember, I mean, it depends on the circumstances. You you can remember that, for instance, Schroeder was shown when there were the floods in Dresden, he was shown with his uh, boots and so on in the water. I would, I would say it's a similar, a similar pattern. It depends on the, on the circumstances. Yeah, yeah, well, it makes you wonder how these politicians have time to, to work out to get those muscles. Philip Marek, Professor <laughs> Emeritus of Political Communication. Professor, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Julius van der Laar is a political strategist who's worked for U.S. President Barack Obama's campaign, amongst others. I asked him what he thought of the shots. I think they portray Emmanuel Macron uh, mostly powerful. Uh, look, I think there's one thing in politics, and that is perception is reality. 
And I think the French president understands that as well. So I think there is one term in political communication, which is called polyoptics, the optics of politics. And there are several presidents who use, you know, photography and videos to exactly form the type of image that they want to portray in the public discourse. Remember Barack Obama doing his campaigns. He would always go and play basketball and underscore that is, he is this youthful type of candidate that can sort of bring joy, but also excitement to the campaign trail. We've seen that from many other presidents like Vladimir Putin, who obviously famously has been playing ice hockey and several other sports to always make sure that people understand how dominant he is. So I think that is just one uh, page out of the playbook of polyoptics. I'm, I'm intrigued by your, by your phrase, perception is reality. So for those people who uh, perceive these uh, photos to be ridiculous, um, what good has been done? Well, look, the next election that is taking place in France is obviously 2027, uh, and Mr. Macron can't run anymore. So I think there's one, you know, at least uh, uh, one thing that he has to be very aware of, that is he could be casted as a lame duck someone who can't run again, who's sort of just waiting out the term. And I think these pictures could certainly signal, hey, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to take on this fight in Europe to make sure that the European elections, which are taking place, of course, in a few weeks, that he is ready to go to bat over there and that he's still got plenty of fight left in him to take on the issues that are relevant to the French people. OK, you're really into this idea. I, I'm intrigued. Um, there's a, there's a, 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 a summit of European leaders going on as we speak. Can you see any other uh, European leaders perhaps having a go at this? Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe the German uh, Chancellor or the uh, EU Commission uh, President, uh, Ursula von der Leyen. Can you see them uh, taking this on? Uh, yeah, I, I could certainly, I mean, during the general election back in 2021, we saw Olaf Scholz, who, you know, put on his running shoes and went running around the block. He is certainly not the type of politicians who, who are a type of politician who is ready to, you know, invest in optics and make sure that there's some sort of spectacular way of portraying himself. Urza von der Leyen, I think, is a very similar situation. but. Obviously, there always has to be one picture that goes with a summit. And I do think that Mr. Macron chose the day of the release of those pictures very carefully. First, he didn't post it on his own Instagram account, as you mentioned earlier. He's got a reach of 3.4 million followers on Instagram. It was his photographer who posted them. But still, this is probably going to be the picture that is most talked about in the days of this EU summit that we're seeing right now going on in the background. OK, you, 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 you're, you're bringing me around to your way of uh, thinking then. So take us behind the scenes, oh. if you would. Um, Someone said, a leader, be it uh, Macron or Obama, says, right, I, I need people to see me in a certain way. Does someone just turn up and say, yeah, take your shirt off and, and give it a go? Or, or is that, is that quite a rad, still quite a radical step? I think you try during a campaign or during an electoral session, try to think about, well, how can I enter the news stream? And obviously, this is working for Mr. Macron. Look, we're talking about it right now. We're not talking about politics. We're not talking about his approval ratings. We're talking about his biceps, essentially, right? So I think you have to sort of crack into the news stream and make sure that people sort of get to see what you're standing for. And the message, I think, is very clear. Uh, I'm strong. I'm ready to put on fight. Uh, I'm fighting for you, the French people. And so every campaign, every politician always needs to think about what are the optics. If you can't create an image, now, chances are that journalists like you and many other outlets will not be able to cover it as easily. And the story, most importantly, is much harder to be told. So creating an image is one-on-one -on, -one on politics. Good talking to you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, political strategist well. Julius Fandela. Thank you.